Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to my very first LGBTQ plus themed create a sim on the channel. So this is actually the first like create a sim I've ever done surrounding people in the LGBTQ plus community, which is surprising because you guys, if you've been following my channel for a while now, you probably know that like I'm very supportive of the LGBTQ community. And I guess you would call me like technically an ally or, or whatever, um, but basically I, totally completely support LGBTQ rights and I'm a, just it means a lot to me personally someone in my family who I'm very close with is part of that community and so it's always been something I've grown up with I've honestly never really known any difference so I just thought what better way to celebrate pride month than to do is create a sim finally I'm surprised it took me this long I really don't know why I've never done it before but here we are finally so the first thing I want to talk about in this create -a sim is that I actually am raising money for the Trevor Project for the month of June in honor of Pride Month. So um, I've kind of teamed up with Tiltify. Um, I mostly do it through Twitch and if you you know can come to my Twitch streams and donate while I'm live, you'll get a special like alert and everything. But you guys can donate whether I'm live or not any time of the day and anything a dollar or more. Um, it really adds up in the long run. So if you guys can donate anything at all, I would greatly appreciate it. And all proceeds will go to the Trevor Project, which I will have some links in the description if you guys wanna learn more about exactly what the Trevor Project is. Um, to put it very basically, it's one of the biggest organizations that actually donates, like that spends all of their time and energy on helping LGBTQ people who are suicidal or in crisis and just in need of services. And it's a really, really good organization. Um, and it means a lot to me. So um, I hope you guys will take the time to kind of learn more about it. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description and I'll also put a link in the description to the donation link. So yeah, if you guys could go check that out, I would appreciate it so, so much. It's gonna be going until the 30th and my current goal is $500. We're not even close, but in anything, it doesn't matter. Anything at all would just, make all the difference in the world to me and so many other people in the world, I'm sure. So this first sim that I'm making, his name is Nate Patterson. And I think he is so cute. Um, I did make three sims for this create a sim. You guys will see them all, of course. Um, but the first one is Nate. And he is, I guess what he would identify is, is just gay. <laughs> he would be, um, He's a gay male and I really loved making him. I got a lot of different custom content and I'll make sure I have links in the description to all the custom content that I use because I know uh, you guys are gonna wanna know. <laughs> you guys are gonna wanna know um, all the creative sim, all the, I mean all the creative sim, oh my God, what? All the custom content that I use in uh, in this in this video. So, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, new kind of pride specific content that I downloaded. Um, like you can see the face paint on his face. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. And um, I don't know, I just, I think it's so cool how people make this stuff and it's actually can be a part of your game. And also the Sims team is gonna come out with some new pride content, I believe for this month in an update. I think, I think I heard that. I don't know too much about it yet, but um, that would be really awesome if they were to do that. So Nate's style, he's very like basic. Like, he's not super into fashion. He's not like crazy fashionable or anything. Um, he's kind of an outdoorsy guy. Um, so you'll see him just wearing like some boots. And um, of course I did get some pride custom content. So I do use that on them. Um, in my imagination, they're like on their way to a pride parade. So I made sure they look super, you know, pride, prided up, pride. Prideful? Prideful. That's probably the best, that's probably the best word there. <laughs> but otherwise his style is very chill, kind of laid back, outdoorsy, like I said, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of his style. And in my backstory, Nate doesn't really have the most supportive uh, family life. He doesn't really get a lot of support. Um, so he relies heavily on his friends, who you guys are going to meet very, very shortly. <laughs> um, so yeah, he kind of struggled, you know, he, he didn't really have anyone in his corner, I guess you could say, um, which happens so much in real life. So, you know, that's kind of the story that I thought of for him. Um, and as you can see, I actually gave him like an outdoorsy trait um, because that's just, that's just so him. Like he loves anything to do with the outdoors. He just loves to be outside. Um, 
I also made him fam family friendly and he's also a, uh, a confident boy. He's pretty confident in himself. You know, it took him a long time to get there, but he's definitely, definitely a, a uh, confident guy. So yeah, this is Nate and all the Sims will be available to download on the gallery. And like I said, I'll include any custom content that I use in the description. So if you guys want them to look exactly the way they look in this video, uh, you'll be able to do that. On to Tasha, she's probably, well, no. I think the third sim is my favorite, but Tasha is like super close. I love Nate too, don't get me wrong. But Tasha, I don't know what, I don't know what it is about her, but she's just so fearlessly herself. And I don't know, I find that super refreshing. So that's my story for her. She doesn't really care what anybody thinks. And she does identify as bisexual for those who are curious. I'm just, I'm putting labels on things so you guys get an idea of where I was going with these Sims and their stories and their and who they are. So Tasha is bisexual. She is a super sweet girl. Um, her family is actually really, really supportive. Um, so she got very lucky there. And uh, so in my mind, her parents are like at the pride parade, taking pics, like, yes, this is my daughter. You know, they're super proud, which is how I imagine I would probably be if like my kids came out in the future. I'd be like, Yes, I'd be going to every, oh my God, every Pride Parade. I've been to Pride before um, a few times. I haven't gone in a while, to be honest with you guys, but um, my family member that I mentioned earlier, he used to walk in the parade, so I would go with him and walk in the parade. Um, and it was so much fun, and just to see all the people that like come together and feel like they can be themselves without, you know, judgment or ridicule. It was so, so refreshing. There's so much love at Pride, like so much love, it's crazy. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I saw people there that were, I guess you would say, protesting and being super hateful and negative and living in the freaking dark ages. If you've heard Taylor Swift's new song, the one that's like, you need to calm down, you need to calm down. And the line where she says something like, you know, you spent all that time, you know, you, you made, you'd rather make a sign and live in the dark ages. That must've taken all night. And that's all I could think of when I saw this person is like how long it took you all night to work on a, on a sign purely for hatred, hatred purposes. Like it just doesn't make sense to me, you know, to each their own, whatever. But I personally don't find any reason, way, shape or form why you have to be so hateful to people who don't affect you in any damn way. Like, let people do them, you do you, and just freaking live in harmony. Because you know what? Life is short and you don't want to spend all that time hating on people. And you know, it just, uh, it drives me. I could literally rant about this all video. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna get too off topic here. But yeah, you guys, you guys probably know my feelings about this by now. I'm not sure if this video will get, I guess, hateful comments. If it does, honestly, I mean, we delete, we ban, we move on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I have been making LGBT Sims since the start of my channel. If you go back and watch my first season of Generations and Seasons uh, for The Sims 3, that was in 2014. I started it three months into my YouTube journey. It's my first real Let's Play I actually like kept on my channel. <laughs> Don't go looking for the other stuff because yikes. But uh, yeah, so um, I did have a lesbian Sim in that Let's Play and so I started from the beginning, and so I think I kind of hopefully weeded out a lot of the homophobic uh, comments back way back in 2014. So I'm hopeful that, you know, we won't get too many of those, but if we do, it is what it is, and we're gonna move on. We're gonna focus on the positive and the loving people because those are the ones that matter. <laughs> but it's something that's very important to me. You know, I've been very candid about that. I grew up, like I said, with a family member in my, family <laughs> who is who is gay and honestly if I'm being honest he's been kind of like a father figure to me but yeah so this guy he's been uh, he's been kind of my father figure in life and he took me to a father-daughter dance in the third grade which I will never forget and I'll always cherish I'm gonna cry oh crap oh whoo oh oh god no we're not gonna cry holy crap this is a happy video but basically He's been there for me like in so many different ways I can't even explain to you. Like I can't even begin to tell you everything this man has done so selflessly for me. And the fact that people won't give him the time of day just because he's gay. 
absolutely baffles my mind because this is the best man I've, I literally know. And I think that's why I am so passionate about this, even though I myself identify as straight. I think because I grew up with him and I mean, I've had to defend him from the time I was a child. I went to like a private Catholic school. Can you guys imagine? Can you imagine all the comments I got from people? I mean, you know, it was a lot. So I've always defended him. I've always felt like there's nothing wrong. There's nothing like it just there was no other. I don't know. I never thought of it in a negative way my entire life. And I'm so thankful I was raised that way. And you can bet my kids will be raised the same exact way way which i'm happy to say but anyway tasha wants to be a writer i'm <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm so wrapped up i barely talked about tasha oh my god you guys can see her traits and all of that stuff there oh my gosh but yeah moving on to probably my favorite sim here um this is kieran and this is my very first transgender uh, sim. I think it's taken me this long to make a transgender sim because I was afraid that I would like somehow misrepresent them. I didn't want to offend anyone. I really wanted to like do this in the best possible way. I want to, I want to represent it correctly, and I just didn't want to like offend anyone. I don't know. I'm very anxious about that. I'm, I, I would absolutely. It would devastate me to like make people feel a certain some some type of way you know but hopefully i uh, i did him some some justice so yes so kieran was born a female but obviously he is a man now and i think he is so freaking cute oh my gosh so in my mind kieran is a very well he was at least <laughs> a very shy guy um you know he's he's not the most outgoing he's had a lot in his life and he just he doesn't like to open up too much to people for fear of being um, disappointed or rejected for who he is. Then he met Nate and Tasha. And like I said, the, these are three friends that are basically each other's family at this point. And um, they just made the, the world of a difference in each other's lives. And Kieran and Tasha actually fell in love. They fell in love. And I, ship them so hard oh my god I, I haven't even played with these sims i've just made them and created a sim and i already love them so 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 much like i can't even i can't even explain to you how attached i am already to these sims i would love to add them into a let's play in the future or something because i feel like i would just absolutely adore playing with them any chance i got So as you can see, he has the transgender kind of face paint, uh, flag face paint on his face. Um, the content itself, I feel like it's supposed to be pink, but it looks more purple, at least for me. But um, anyways, that's what it's supposed to be. And I did give him a, another kind of pride shirt that says like, love, love, love. And um, yeah, his style is again, he's very kind of laid back. He's um, pretty chill, he's pretty chill. But yeah, so as you saw, Tasha was like, boom, with the rain, she was out there. She doesn't care. She is the most like confident <laughs> person ever. Um, so she kind of brings out that side of Kieran. She kind of like, they, they are kind of each other's yin and yang, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, I love them so much. I would love, oh my God, now I really want to play with them. I really want to do a let's play with them, to be honest with you guys. So yeah, this is Kieran. Um, I just, I'm so happy that I finally decided to make this uh, create a sim because I know someone out there is gonna appreciate this. They're gonna wanna see it. They're gonna wanna see representation and that's what matters to me. He wants to have a big happy family. He's a foodie. He's family oriented. I'm trying to like, remember what he was. Um, so yeah, he's also he's also active. He likes to he likes to get fit and fit and stuff. So those are the Sims guys. And just to kind of clarify quickly exactly what Tasha's um, personality is like, she is um, she does want to be a master actress. Um, that is so her to me. She's also creative, outgoing, and a vegetarian. So that is it for the Sims guys. It's taken me. 
oh my god five years five years to make this create a sim what the heck why did it take me this long to just make a create a sim about lgbtq i have no idea but at least i finally did it and late better late better than never how does that saying go better late than never there we go so yeah if you guys like this go ahead give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and don't forget about the um trevor project that we are raising money for um all through june till june 30th so yeah i have links in the description as well as custom content links like i said and to those of you who are a part of the lgbtq plus community no matter what you're going through in life, no matter whether you have people who are supportive or not, or whatever it is that you're personally going through, I just want you to know that no matter what happens in your life, you are accepted here by me, on this channel, by my community. Like that is a given. Any, any, any time that is a given. Like you guys need to know that um, you always have a safe place here. So that's all for me, guys. I love you so much. Happy Pride, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.